Hey y'all. Uh, sorry we are a little delayed this morning. Um, been having some Wi-Fi issues, so but we're working with it. Um, we figured it out. I'm just gonna make sure River is in the shot as always. And my credentials are in this shot. Okay. How you feeling today, River? Good. Um, just so you know, well, before I go any further, I'm Maddie. I use they, them pronouns. This is my buddy River. They also use they, them pronouns. And we're here for virtual story time through Helping Services Week 11. It's amazing. We've been having so much fun. So, if you didn't know, it is actually World Bicycle Day. So, if it tells you that much, it's a good day to go on a bike ride. Um, we'll talk more about that in a little bit. It's also my brother's birthday. <laughs> so we're gonna celebrate that as well today too because I can't really bike on story time because that's not possible. So we're gonna celebrate both things intertwined and it's gonna be amazing. So if you haven't been with us before, our usual schedule is getting all the wiggles out, doing a full body movement, taking a few deep breaths, uh, reading our first book, and then we'll sing a song. Uh, today's song might be happy birthday. I don't know. We'll see. And then we'll read a second book, and then uh, time for announcements and River's special messages along with an activity. So they will be providing that like they do every time. And sometimes it's related to the day, the theme of the day, which today is World Bicycle Day slash my brother's birthday. So, all right. Let's start with getting the wiggles out. Um, as you can see, I have my glasses on, and if, my, if I have my glasses on while I get the wiggles out, then they're gonna fly off and it's not gonna be good. So I take those off and make sure you're like a safe distance from everybody, and we'll just start from head to toe. I'm not standing, but you can stand if you want, or you can do it in your chair, or lie down, or anywhere that you have space. So let's get started. Start with the head, wiggle the head. You can go as fast or slow as you want. Maybe wiggle the eyes and the nose and the mouth. Can you wiggle your ears? I, can, I don't think I can wiggle mine. And your neck safely, and your shoulders, and your arms. Do something funky with your arms, and your hands, and your fingers, and your torso, and your hips, and your legs, you guys, my least favorite part, and your feet, and your cool socks, and your toes. And then do everything for five more seconds. Get all the wiggles out right now. Five, four, three, two, one. Oh my gosh. Woo -hoo -hoo. All right, y'all. You know I get super out of breath after that, so I really need to take some deep breaths so I can calm down and be like all settled for our book. Okay, River. Remember, it's inhale, suck in air through the nose, and then blow out air through the mouth. Like that. All right. So let's do one together first. Inhale through the nose, fill that tummy, and exhale it all out. Sometimes I like to do a little wiggle. This next time when we inhale, we're gonna reach up for the sky and be like really tall trees. So inhale through the nose, reach up to the sky. Reach, 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 higher, higher. And let it all out and let everything come down and you can wiggle it out. <laughs> Isn't that nice? Okay, let's do it one more time. So inhale through the nose, reach high. Reach, 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 like a big tall tree. And exhale, let it all down and wiggle it out. Like you're a tree blowing through the wind. <laughs> awesome, get your water, cause it's good to stay hydrated. So, we got all the wiggles out, we did our breaths. Now it's time for our first book. And I think I know why River picked this one. As you can see, it is about, it is titled Honey Rabbit. And River's a rabbit, so I think there was some bias in choosing this book. <laughs> uh, the author is Margot Margo Hopkins, and it's illustrated by Sydney Sesqueras. We're getting there. All right. I'll try to let you see it. I know it's backwards, but we're doing what we can. All right. Hmm. Okay. What a fine day, said Father Rabbit, one warm, sunny morning. Spring is here. Daddy, what is spring? asked Honey Rabbit. Why, spring is all around you, said Father Rabbit. Go and look in the meadow. You will see for yourself. Spring. It is spring, isn't it? Or are we past spring? 
Honey Rabbit hopped over to a field of wild flowers where some mice were scurrying about. Hello, mice, said Honey Rabbit. Can you tell me what spring is? Spring is when the flow flowers grow, said the, a small brown mouse, and we can look for berries to eat. Mmm, that sounds yummy. Honey Rabbit stopped at the pond. What is spring? he asked a turtle. Spring is when the air is warm, said the turtle, and I can sit all day in the sun. The turtle has a hat and a tie. That's so cute. Oh no, said a fish. Spring is when the water is warm and I can swim all day in the sun. Then Honey Rabbit saw a blue jay. What is spring, he asked. Spring is when the trees grow new green leaves, said the blue jay, and I build my nest. Oh no, said a robin. Spring is when the ground is soft and I dig for worms. Look at how all the different things that these animals do in the spring. Hello, squirrel, said Honey Rabbit. Can you tell me what spring is? Spring is when there are new babies in the meadow, she said proudly. Oh, look at that. I didn't know squirrels could dress like that. <laughs> Honey Rabbit was still not sure what spring was, so he hopped home. Daddy, tell me what spring is, he said. Is it flowers growing, or warm air, or warm water, or green leaves, or soft ground, or new babies in the meadow? Spring is all of those things, said Father Rabbit. What a smart little rabbit you are. And he gave Honey Rabbit a great big hug in the warm spring sun. Oh my gosh, that is so precious. What a great pick, River. I know you were a little biased from the rabbit, but that was like probably one of the most beautiful books I've ever read. So thank you. Okay, now that we've read our first book, it's time for our song. And since today is a birthday, I think we should sing happy birthday. Um, don't you, River? Yeah, it's my brother's birthday. He's 33 -0. Oh. Let's go for it. His name is Blake, if you want to say that. Or you can say Maddie's brother. All right, ready? <laughs> One, two, three. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday to Blake. Happy birthday to you. Oh my gosh, wasn't that amazing? <sighs> Thank y'all. And you know, if you don't know my brother, that's okay. You can dedicate that song to anyone who has a birthday today. So happy birthday to anybody who has a birthday today. <laughs> okay, now it's time for our second book. And that's good because our books, this book is a little bit longer. So we're working with time management. So this book is called Peter's Chair by Ezra Jack Keats. For Joan Roseman. Okay. Got to the first page. Peter stretched as high as he could. There! His tall building was finished. <gasps> Look at that! Hold up. Oh, I thought that was a fish tank. It's something else. It's a block. <laughs> Crash! Down it came. Shh! Called his mother. You'll have to play more quietly. Remember, we have a new baby in the house. Uh-oh. Baby was probably sleeping. Peter looked into his sister Susie's room. His mother was fussing around the cradle. That's my cradle, he thought. And they painted it pink. <gasps> I don't know about y'all, but I kind of like pink, so I think I'd be okay with that. Hi, Peter, said his father. Would you like to help paint sister's high chair? It's my high chair, whispered Peter. Hmm, interesting. He saw his crib and muttered, my crib, it's painted pink too. Not far away stood his old chair. They didn't paint that yet, Peter shouted. He picked it up and ran to his room. Let's run away, Willie, he said. 
Peter filled a shopping bag with cookies and dog biscuits. We'll take my blue chair, my toy crocodile, and the picture of me when I was a baby. Willie got, Willie got his bone. Oh no, he's running away. They went outside and stood in front of his house. This is a good place, said Peter. He arranged his things very nicely and decided to sit in his chair for a while. <laughs> but he couldn't fit in the chair. He was too big. That's happened to me before. Too big for my little chair. His mother came to the window and called. Won't you come back to us, Peter, dear? We have something very special for lunch. Peter and Willie made believe they didn't hear. But Peter got an idea. Soon his mother saw signs that Peter was home. That rascal is hiding behind the curtain, she said happily. She moved the curtain away, but he wasn't there. Here I am, shouted Peter. Peter sat in a grown-up chair. His father sat next to him. Daddy, said Peter, let's paint the little chair pink for Susie. And they did. How nice. The end. Whew. Sorry, y'all. My nose is itchy. <sighs> okay, awesome. River, that was such a good second book pick. Um, I think we have enough time to do a little bit more body movement for today. So get some water. Um, and we'll just do some, like, stretches. So... We'll start with our arms and you can shake them up and shake them down and shake them to the side and shake them to the other side and shake them up and shake them down and shake them to this side and shake them to that side. And then you can inhale the arms up and bring them overhead like you were reaching like the tree. And then exhale, let it all come down and shake it out. Whew. Do some shoulder rolls. Roll those shoulders up to the ears and let them down. And roll them up and down like a roller coaster. <laughs> and then go the opposite direction. Roll them forward. <sighs> you can breathe with it. Okay, and then I know you aren't going to be able to see me for this one, but I want to get those the back of the leg stretched. Um, so if you're sitting down on the floor, you can let your legs be straight out in front of you. If you're in a chair, you can kind of straighten your legs out and bend over. And if you're standing up, you can just bend your upper body over to stretch. So I'll kind of try to demonstrate in my small frame right now. So inhale the arms up, reach, 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 and exhale. Let the body fall over the legs and feel a stretch behind the knees. Can you feel it? Let your head hang down so you can release your neck. Let's do one more, bring it all the way up. Inhale and exhale all the way down. Try to reach the floor. <sighs> Sorry, you had to stare at the back of my head, but I needed that. So, awesome. All right. So, for announcements for today, um, my usuals of making sure you stay up to date on public libraries, Facebook pages, wherever you are. Uh, here in Decor, we got Decor Public Library. There's Roby Memorial Library. Um, there's St. Paul Public Library. Um, and they've been doing a lot and they are where we got this idea from. Iowa Safe Schools does Drag Queen Storytime every Tuesday on Instagram and Facebook. And also, um, I just shared some resources with some of my uh, fellow family educators uh, with how to talk to kids about race. So there's a YouTube video called just called how to talk to kids about race that you can look up um, and then also um, an NPR sorry I'm looking it up NPR life kit parenting podcast through NPR called talking race with young children. Um, so there's just some resources right now for kids if you want to use them. <sighs> Lastly um, we have some special messages from River. So, and time just flew by today, goodness gracious. Okay, 
So, as you know, every week, uh, River gives a special special message. I can never talk at this point. A uh, special message and an activity idea for the week. And so sometimes it's related to the theme of the day, which today is World Bicycle Day and my brother's birthday, and or it's just kind of a random thing. And this he's recently been getting into more like affirmations of like positively affirming people as who they are. So we're kind of getting more into that and that's really awesome too. So let's get into it. Give me a drum roll please for River's message or affirmation of the week. You are strong. I know this is backwards, but it says you are strong and that is very true. Now I'm taking the special purple slip of paper from the box. Um, because this has the activity for the week. So if you could give me another drum roll for that, please. <laughs> Ride a bike. Okay, I kind of saw this one coming. Um, but just like I said before, you know, make sure that when you're going out riding, everybody's safe, everybody has a helmet on. Um, if you have little kids that are like learning how to bike, make sure you have an adult stand on like either side of them while they're riding because um, it kind of takes a bit to get that balance um, and just make sure you're taking them to you know good trails that are not too difficult for those little bikes <laughs> um, but yeah if you go out today just do it safely and <sighs> time flies when you're having fun right river <laughs> river's my buddy all right y'all thanks for joining me this week and i hope to see you next time Bye, happy birthday, Blake. Happy World Bicycle Day.